So, six months ago, I saw a video of this black person with glasses. I think it was a dude who was standing around a bunch of white guys and Ashkenazi Jews. And he was seeing a huru and he was making them admit to their own white guilt and that they need to pay reparations, all giving their own reasons, their own talking points as to why they need to do this. I remember at one point he talked about how he's doing this for black internationalists. And at that point, I this was on a thread on Facebook that this video was shared on for all right circles. I mentioned how interesting the term black internationalism or black internationalist is for describing movements like Black Lives Matter and other similar movements. Because it does describe some of the new militant black movements. Not the old school ones. The old school ones definitely were more nationalistic. Which is why I'm a lot more sympathetic towards them. Because I can put myself on their shoes a lot more easily. Whereas here it's a little different. And... An interesting thing about that is a uh, back when the whole BLM thing started, 2014, as a result of the Darren Wilson Michael Brown trial, when it was announced that Wilson was essentially walking, that he was not indicted, not even like not guilty, not indicted. So I don't even think it was a trial, not I remember, because he didn't even get indicted. Everyone started, uh, people who've been to college for one year or two years on my friends list, my Instagram, my Twitter, they were throwing together all the Jewish concepts, like critical theory, white privilege, um... Systemic racism, institutional racism, and I thought that was kind of interesting because, like, a lot of these friends of mine, they started at uni being apolitical, but two years afterwards, and they're all militantly racially conscious. Well, not all of them. Some of them, I think didn't become that out of necessity because they were fair-skinned like me. <laughs> I think that's the only reason why. But I thought that was type interesting. Because on an intuitive level, I've already figured this out, but now I can make it obvious that the tools that I've been giving to the black intellectual class this is a rhetoric that frames them the way Jews frame themselves versus the coin and blacks are framing themselves like Jews and whites as the coin and when you think about it the breaking down of the nuance in a lot of these talking points over the years does start to make a lot of sense. I remember everything I just talked about for the most part was 2014, but 2016, all of the nuance regarding any discussions on Black Lives Matter or any similar movement or any similar story, it's all gone. And that surprises me. Think about it. A year ago, back in the summer when the topic was straight fire, people were just talking about the term Black Lives Matter versus All Lives Matter, why one is cool but the other isn't, and they're throwing terms like Blue Lives Matter, and it was just a plethora, a collage of forced memes. 
the nuance is gone, and the only thing that really makes sense is any potential outlet for real nationalism or racial consciousness is being squashed like a bug, and any opportunity for any counter-reaction, or what I mean counter-reaction, reaction in general, it's trying to be de -memified. And that was kind of like a soft meme war that was going on in 2016 outside of the more harsh, more relevant meme wars like Brexit and the 2016 election. United States election, that is. And all I got to say about that is, from my perspective now, a lot of these things make sense. It makes sense why black Twitter is so harsh against Trump when, of all the minority demographics, Trump has said the least about black people and even the gay movement. It's because... It's an internationalist movement. It's because any chance for white nationalism or white racial consciousness, that's their priority. That's what they want to squash. Because they're the new boys. And they're the new boys. There's one more talking point I wanted to address from this, but I'm only going to do one take for this. So let me just reach for like 30 seconds. If I got another thing, I'm just going to end the video. It's been a while since I paused like this so heavily. But I got nothing. Maybe I'll make a follow-up. But regardless, it's been Mr. Wonka 7, and suck my dick.